Welcome to the UC Health Improvement Academy. Today we will talk about a tool that is very useful in the understanding phase of the UC Health PI way, the Pareto chart. Let's first start by talking about the Pareto principle. The Pareto principle states that 80% of the effects are due to 20% of the causes. What are some real-world examples of the Pareto principle in effect? In language, the most frequently used 20% of words account for 80% of the word occurrences. In world income, the richest 20% of people have 80% of the world's total income. In healthcare in the U.S., 20% of patients use 80% of the healthcare resources. What is a Pareto chart? A Pareto chart consists of a bar line plus line chart with descending frequencies of categories in a cumulative line. We will talk more about the specific parts of a Pareto in a bit. Why use a Pareto chart? The Pareto chart is helpful in illustrating which factors are contributing the most to a particular outcome. It categorizes failures and ranks them by frequency. It helps identify high-yield categories to prioritize the focus of interventions. How do you use a Pareto chart? First, you need to collect data. This can be done with GOCs, hand-collecting data, or sorting prior data. Data then needs to be categorized into rational groups and buckets. Some examples could be failure modes, hospital unit, steps in a process, diagnoses, etc. This will always be attribute data. A Pareto chart is a snapshot in time. It is combined data over a specific period of time. Examples are August 2019 to January 2020, or October 19th, 2020 to October 23rd, 2020. It could be a single day, week, or year. Let's look at a simple non-medical example. You are the manager of a department store that has a problem with employee tardiness. You realize that before you can find solutions, you first have to understand what's causing the problem. You brainstorm with your team to come up with a list of the main reasons employees are late to work. Through informal brainstorming with your staff, you identify six major categories of reasons employees are late. Bad weather, home emergencies, traffic, child care issues, oversleeping, and public transportation issues. You and your team want to understand the major as opposed to not-so-important factors leading to tardiness. You decide to track the specific reasons for employee tardiness for two months. The results are in. Now that we have the data, what can we use to better understand it? A Pareto chart. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at creating a Pareto chart for your data. Pareto chart has a title across the top of the chart showing the subject of the chart as well as the dates of observation. The chart has an X and Y axis. The X axis shows the reasons or occurrences in decreasing order. The Y axis shows you the number of times that failure occurred. The vertical bars represent the number of occurrences for that reason. The line over the bar shows the cumulative percentage for each reason. Analyzing the data, we can see that nearly 80% of all reasons for employee tardiness are due to traffic and child care issues. If these two issues could be addressed, it would impact 80% of all tardiness for the department store. Let's look at some real-world examples of Pareto charts that have been used in projects here at UC Health. Here is a Pareto chart describing barriers to hospice referrals from January 2020 through May 2020. Data was gathered for all deaths in the unit that did not get a referral to hospice. It was suspected early in the project that one of the bigger barriers to patients getting a hospice referral was that the patient's family was not ready. Using the Pareto chart, we could see that family readiness is not the biggest barrier. This was a surprising and valuable learning for the team. Here is a Pareto chart for COPD patients located in the ED observation unit. It displays reasons for inpatient admissions for these patients from October 2016 to February 2017. We can see that 70% of the inpatient admissions were due to persistent symptoms and a failed walk test and resting hypoxia of exertional desaturation. Tackling these two reasons would have the greatest impact in patient admissions. Not all Pareto charts will highlight the major causes for failure in a process. Some are fairly flat and demonstrate that there is no clear major cause or reason. Sometimes a flat Pareto is indicating a need to group your causes differently or find a different way to analyze your data. This hypothetical Pareto chart on incident report assessments shows that nearly 80% of the incidents were communication, transportation, and coding errors. The Pareto chart also shows something more important than the most frequent incidents. It shows a single data point for a surgery on the wrong patient. It is important to look at all of the data shown on your Pareto chart. Sometimes you will find a single event that is so important or serious that you should focus your efforts there instead of on the highest occurring events. In summary, the purpose of the Pareto chart is to highlight the most important cause or causes among a larger set of factors. One could imagine many possible uses for this tool in performance improvement. 
the most often occurring complaints in patient satisfaction surveys, the most common reasons for patient falls, the most common reasons for late discharges, and many, many more. The Pareto chart is a great tool for identifying the most common failure modes in any process to allow your team to focus where it counts.